Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to look at how to use the redirect tool to get a character to turn while walking. Now there's a lot of different reasons why you might use the redirect tool in Maya. For myself, the mo most common reason why I use it anytime I have to have a character walking or running, I like to use the redirect tool to uh, just to get them to turn. Alright, so to demonstrate this redirect tool, I have a character walking here. Walk cycle needs a little bit of work, but it'll work for this demonstration. Alright, so as you can see, he's walking straight, and we're going to get him to turn. So the first thing you need to do is decide where he's going to be turning. So I'll have him take a couple of steps and I'll have him turn on, on the second step. What you want to do is go right to the contact pose. In the contact pose, his contact poses are the poses where his heel touches the ground right there. And he does it with every step. So we're going to choose this one and you want to go right to the frame right to the frame where the, where the heel first makes contact. And we're going to have him spin all the way through this whole time where his right foot is touching the ground. His right heel makes contact at frame 18. And we're going to go right through to this point before his foot leaves the ground again, right through to 27. So from 18 to 27, his foot's on the ground that whole time. And we're going to have him spin on the ball of his foot. You want to do it on the ball of his foot and not his heel, because if you get up and, and go for a walk, and you, you actually turn, you actually get up and, and walk and turn, you'll notice that you do spin off the ball of your, of your foot. So that's what we're going to do here. All right, so we're going to select his master control first. Make sure you're on the animation menu set. And in the menu, you'll find key. And you want to go right down to redirect. Now let's just take a look at the option box really quick. You'll see you have rotation and translation, rotation only and translation only. I usually pick both just in case I need them both. So with the master control selected, we're going to hit redirect. And you'll see it comes in pretty big just because my character is scaled down small. All right, so once you do that, you can move it. Now I'm just going to show you what it does. I'm just going to move it somewhere close to the ball of the foot. So if you rotate that now, you'll see it's pivoting from the center of the redirect tool. So essentially what the redirect tool does once you apply it is it's almost like it creates a new master control, but you can move the redirect tool anywhere. So it's almost like you have a, a new master control where you can choose where the pivot point is going to be. All right, so I'm just going to roughly place that under the under the ball of his foot there. You can hit four on your keyboard just to check. All right, so what we want to do is key that in Y because we're going to rotate our character in Y. All right, so we're just going to key it on frame 18. So if you go over to your channel box under the rotate Y, we're going to right click and go key selected. And you can see it's keyed on frame 18. So now we're going to scrub down the timeline right to the point where his foot leaves the ground. So that last pose before his foot leaves the ground. So that's frame 27 and we're going to key the rotate Y again. All right, so we can rotate that now. It's a good idea to decide how much you're going to rotate it. So if you want him to turn an equal amount for each step, it's good to keep track in the channel box and look at the number that you're actually seeing there under the rotate Y. So as I turn this, I'm going to go with a minus 30. Now you don't have to do this. I'm just being meticulous with the numbers here. And I'm going to key that there. So my first frame of the redirect is at zero. And the second frame, my second key frame is at minus 30. Let's take a look on the graph editor. All right, so you can see my rotate Y curve here. It's just a linear curve. So we're going to drag a box over this whole thing. And we're going to change the tangent to flat, just so that the curve eases in and out of its movement. And if you take a look at what it's done here, if I scrub over the animation, you, see, you can see that the redirect tool turns the whole character from the ball of his foot. So if we play that now, it just redirects the entire character. So we'll do the same thing on his next step. So right where the last key that we set for the redirect tool is on the timeline is his contact pose for his next foot. So we're just going to do the same thing. So again, select the master. And go to key and select redirect and then we're going to move it again move it again to the ball of his foot and we're going to key it in y in that in that location we're going to scrub through right into the point where his foot leaves the ground or the last pose before his foot leaves the ground and we're going to key it again and i'm going to turn him another 30 degrees Just type in minus 30 here in the channel box under the rotate Y and we'll key that again. Again, we're going to go in the graph editor, select the entire curve and change it to flat. And if we play that now, 
We could keep going and have him walk in a circle, but I think you get the idea. If we look in the perspective view now, you can see what's happening. So you can see how quick and easy that was. And it's a great way to get a character to turn. It's a starting point anyway. Well, I would still add to this. I would refine this animation a little bit more if this was a, a shot I was working on. I would probably have the character bank a little bit and a few other tweaks that I would add in. But I would probably have the character bank while he's turning. Sort of bank into the turn like that. Just so the physics makes a little bit more sense. And a few other about, you know adjustments here and there. But that's it. That's basically how you use the redirect tool to get a character to turn while walking or running.